HBO has released the fourth episode of their Batman spin-off, The Penguin, which shows us how Sophia got her nickname The Hangman after spending a decade in the Arkham State Hospital. And I thought this episode was fantastic. After Sophia learns that Oz actually killed her brother, and has been playing her the entire time, we get a flashback sequence that allowed us to know Sophia a little more personally. So while last week's episode provided us with a Vic-centric storyline, this week's episode provided us with a Sophia-centric one. And I was shocked to see how engaging that story really was. I mean, I thought Sophia was a great character to begin with, but now she is an incredibly well-rounded one, and she has such a fascinating backstory. In flashbacks, we learn that Sophia was definitely Carmine Falcone's favorite child, and she had a bright future ahead of her as head of the Falcone crime family. That is, until a reporter confronts her about the mysterious deaths of several women who all died in a similar manner to Sophia's own mother. So she begins to question whether her father is responsible for all of these deaths. But when Sophia meets with the reporter to make sense of everything, Oz alerts her father, who retaliates by framing Sophia for all of the murders and having her committed into Arkham Asylum. And even though she is innocent, she is forced to stay here for over a decade. While there, she is constantly mocked by the inmates, subjected to electroshock therapy, gaslit into believing that she is guilty, and abandoned by her own family. Her brother Alberto was the only one who believed or cared about the fact that she was innocent, and was actively trying to get her out of Arkham. So, it makes sense as to why Sophia would have such a close bond with Alberto, and why his death would weigh so heavily on her. So, now that she knows that Oz is the one that killed him, Oz's life is probably in immediate danger. Because while Sophia may have been an innocent woman when she was first taken to Arkham, the mental and physical pain that she endured over the years did eventually cause her to break down and snap inside. So even though she wasn't a murderer before, she definitely is a murderer now. A point that she gets across by killing everyone else in the Falcone family, aside from Johnny Vitti. So, the entire Falcone crime family was completely wiped out over the course of one night, which is absolutely insane to me. This show continues to surprise me each and every episode, so I never really know what to expect while I'm watching it, and that only makes viewing the series all the more exciting. Of course, it helps that the cast is giving more than 110% in their performances. Colin Farrell may be the star of the show, but Kristen Milioti definitely outshone him in this episode. She is absolutely fantastic as Sophia Falcone, and is probably the most fascinating character in the series. And while John Totoro wasn't able to return to reprise his role as Carmine Falcone from The Batman, Mark Strong gave a great performance as the character. He completely emulated the same energy that Totoro had in the feature film, so I totally believed that this portrayal of the character was the exact same one from The Batman. So I look forward to seeing more of Strong's performance as Carmine because he absolutely nailed this character. And for better or for worse, Sophia did end up becoming the head of his family. She just happens to be the only member of it is all. And her first act as the remaining Falcone will probably be to kill the Penguin.
So, Oz probably should have killed her before he fled the scene with Vic, because my man is definitely in danger now. I have no idea what Sophia has in store for him, but I guess we'll find out when the next episode of The Penguin gets released on Sunday.